Finley Hospital, leading the tri-states with new technology. Finley State-of-the-Art Wound Center is healing wounds from a multitude of causes, including pressure, diabetes, and poor blood flow. This unique center features hyperbaric oxygen treatments, as well as other advanced therapies to help with chronic or non-healing wounds. You get a treatment plan specifically tailored to your particular wound, from diagnostic evaluation through ongoing treatment. The Finley Center for Wound Healing and Hyperbaric Medicine, a difference you can feel. Welcome, one and all, to the grand opening and ribbon cutting for the Finley Hospital Center for Wound Healing and Hyperbaric Medicine. All right. We're not actually in the center today, but we are in Finley Hospital, and we are celebrating today with Mr. Chad Wolvers, who is COO of Finley Hospital. Chad, I am Kevin Lynch, and I am here today representing the Dubuque Area Chamber of Commerce and our board of directors and our over 1,400 members, and we want to congratulate you on filling a need in the community that uh, has gone unmet for a long time, and we know that it's going to be very successful and that you've worked very hard on this along with your staff, and we want to congratulate you, and we're here to celebrate. Thank you. Good for you. As with any chamber ribbon cutting, we always bring along a plethora of politicians, and we have some of them that would like to speak to you today, and we begin normally with our representatives of the Dubuque City Council, and speaking on behalf of the council today is Councilman Rick Jones. I'm just proud to be here today for a number of reasons. I served on the Critical Care and Trauma Committee in this institution for a number of years when I was uh, EMS Director of the Dubuque Fire Department and uh, got to teach trauma care all over the country for the Department of Defense for a number of years. And one of the things that we taught was that hyperbarics is going to be the next thing in uh, wound care and in a number of other things. And here it is in Dubuque, Iowa, once again stepping out front and uh, meeting a community need. Um, people tend to downplay wound care a little bit as being a limb-saving procedure. But believe me, limb-saving is life-saving. This is a big deal. I'm really proud of you. On behalf of the City of Dubuque, the City Council, and Mayor Buell, who wishes he could be here, um, we want to thank you for stepping out in front once again and for bringing this life-saving, limb-saving care to Dubuque. We, on behalf of the County Board of Supervisors and Dubuque County citizens, are overly proud of Finley Hospital and their willingness to make the investments that they're making to help save lives in this community, but also as a medical tri-state area catchment. And as you look at this wound um, center, and know that you will serve not only people with the wounds from the diabetic area, but the possibility of serving stroke victims as well, and, and the, the, the list goes on. We're in awe of your willingness to make this investment. And I hope that you continue to um, establish state-of-the-art medicine in the tri-state area so that we can all um, save lives as we work together for a better quality of life. So again, on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, congratulations. And our very best thank you to the Board of Directors, the physicians and the nurses and all the staff that will work in this center and help make everyone well. And today I was fortunate at the Ambassador Luncheon to sit across from Sue Chapman. She was speaking um, in depth about the program with the HBOT treatment facility and it's fabulous to be able to cut healing time in half because of a 100% oxygen chamber. So it's very exciting to learn about that. Um, and obviously, ambassadors have been to many ribbon cuttings for Finley, promoting health within the community, and we're here to help, you know, pr show the community what you have done for them. I can just name a few of them, like the Finley Cancer Survivor Park and the Keel Diabetes Center, and today's a great another one to add to the, to the whole list. And with the marketing prep package, you guys are very familiar with it, I'm sure. We want to thank, first of all, Radio Dubuque. They've been announcing the ceremony on all four radio stations um, all day long, and that's thanks to Paul Hemmer. And also, Lamar Advertising has been putting it on the billboard on Highway 20 and, and with the ceremony and the time that it's posted. And I think I've seen it four or five times today, so <laughs> I'm sure we all see it more than once. So it's a fabulous marketing piece for promoting what Finley has done with the community. So thank you, Jim Shoemaker. And also, with the um, pictures that Sally Weber with the Chamber is and also the videotaping, we'll be able to view the ceremony on the, cha the Chamber Ambassador website and also on YouTube and thanks to On Media Channel 22. So thank you Brian Zeman, another ambassador. And lastly we have this beautiful frame. I'll let Kevin give that. 
and also the cards of all the dignitaries that are here. Obviously, it just kind of reiterates that we're here to help you and also that we're here behind you and thanking you for what you've done in the community. And the marketing package is about $3,000, so you guys well deserve it for all you've done promoting health within the community. So thank you, Chad. Thank you, Finley. Let's uh, just take a few minutes and talk to Chad. Uh, Chad, first of all, tell us really uh, in plain terms what the, uh, the wound center and the hyperbaric treatment will do. Well, uh, it's going to do a whole lot of good, first of all. I mean, there are so many people in the tri-state area here that actually have non-healing wounds. You'd be surprised. You know, I think nationally that figure is about 8 million. <coughs> you distill that down to the tri-states. There's about 4,000 people walk around every single day with wounds. And not only is there great physical pain and, and trauma associated with those wounds, but great emotional upheaval in people's lives that have these wounds that don't heal sometimes for years and years. So we're going to meet a, a huge need here that's been unmet for, for a long time. And uh, so as far as what we're bringing to that table, uh, new technologies, new supplies, new skin substitutes, uh, the hyperbaric oxygen chambers kind of is the, the headline of that whole menu of new services that we're going to be bringing here. So helping out a lot of people. Can you give us like a 101 on how it actually works? Well, that's that's a tough question. So as far as how it's going to actually help the, the patients? Sure. So really, um, you know, as I mentioned, these a lot of patients or a lot of people walk around with non-healing wounds. They've, they've gotten a long time and they're really looking for hope, something new to try to get these wounds to heal up. And so, you know, a lot of the types of wounds we see are actually ulcers. Uh, diabetic foot ulcers is probably at the top of that list. So. What we'll do is we'll have Dr. Arnold, who's our new medical director, assess the wound and in partnership with Piper, our uh, clinical coordinator, and the staff. We'll sit down for about two hours initially with that patient and really assess and diagnose what's going on with that wound and come up with a game plan on how to close that wound up over time. And so sometimes they, it's the diet, sometimes it's you know skin substitutes, sometimes it's getting them in the, the oxygen environment in the chamber. So there's a whole menu of things that we can do to close up that wound. And then over a period, I think it is... 14 weeks? Right. 14 weeks, that's the magic number. We get that wound healed up and closed up, so. Nicely done. Now this is something that really is kind of unique for a community like Dubuque, correct? It really is. Um, we actually now, I think the closest ones to us are University of Iowa, University of Wisconsin. I think, of course, we have a, a affiliate in the Quad Cities uh, that also provides this type of therapy, but really uh, we, are, we are it in the tri-state area, which is significant because when we were looking at the, the patients that uh, come to our center, they're as far away as Prairie du Chien, Cresco, we've got some from Okokoda. I mean, we've had some from Cedar Rapids even, so we really do have a huge regional draw. But yeah, we're, we're at really in the tri-state, and the true benefit of that is it's kind of like in some ways cancer care, where if you have cancer, oftentimes you've got to drive every single day to get to that cancer center. Well, the same is true for wound care. So we're going to save a lot of people a lot of miles when they can get that care right here close to home. So Okay, great. Dr. Arnold, obviously I'm thrilled to be here. Um, glad that the community has come out in such uh, strong support for this center and certainly want to thank the hospital administration and staff for giving me the opportunity to be here and help so many people with such a, a wonderful center. Uh, you know, there are so many people who suffer with wounds uh, silently and uh, We'd like to be uh, at least part of the answer for them and turn that uh, chronic situation around. And we, we have all the tools here that we can do that. Um, I'm very excited about working with the local medical community. Certainly, uh, we want to partner with the family practice physicians who are, uh, will maintain the care of that patient uh, while we're dealing with the wounds. Certainly, we don't want to do all the medicine. and. Uh, we also want to partner with many of the subspecialty people who also impact on the wide variety of medical problems that these people have. Many of these people are coming here as a last resort. They have uh, suffered with this in silence for many years and tried many different modalities. So uh, we're, we're really here to give them that hope that maybe they hadn't had before. All right, Carissa Kelleher. Uh, the names of the chambers are Hans and Franz because they're going to pump you up. The patient. <laughs> <laughs> and that was um, submitted by our very own Dawn. She works in the outpatient care unit. Um, and so that wasn't planned, I promise. I promise there was no way. We thought that was such a great name because it really does show a level of strength that we are really trying to pump these patients up and, and making them feel better. One, two, three.